bigs open. Come on, let me say this. It's the same right hand, Larry, that was thrown by David Bay. Let's remember that Biggs has fought his best when he's been in trouble. But I think it's fair to say that he's not in there against David Bay tonight. Right hand body shot and the left hand behind it by Tyson. Tyson is not just loading up one punch. He's trying to put his punches together. He's trying to put together combinations. A mistake he made with Tony Tucker. Tyson Ray, to me, seems to be a little bit more patient tonight. Yes, he, in fact, he is a little more composed, uh, picking his shots. But again, I don't, know, I don't know why they don't pick it up in Big's corner, the way Tyson steps in and leaves his chin so vulnerable. Now, Mike Tyson has made Biggs fight his fight. So far, the cut has not been any worse. And remember, it was a pretty good job done by Ace Parada's cut man in the fight with David Bay. But again, Tyson just putting all the pressure on him, having it his way. Didn't seem like Michael was a good short uppercut by uh, Mike Tyson. by the movement from uh, Tyrell Biggs now. Start to throw some uppercuts. He took a big left hand there. And another one. The cut is reopened again. How does it happen, Ray, that a fighter like Biggs, in this case tonight, will go into a fight with a game plan, and almost from the opening bell, he'll just let that game plan go away? It's all concentration. you got to stick to something that's working for you. And what I see in Tyson, Tyson sticks to his game plan. He works the body with that right hand. He drills a hard right hand to the body and comes up with a good left hook. But Biggs is doing almost everything exactly the opposite of what he said he was going to do. Huge left hand there by Tyson. And a combination by Tyson, a left and a right behind us. Getting to be a mismatch. Right now, Tyson looks like he's rolling in like the tide from the Atlantic Ocean a few steps from Convention Hall. You had it good, Don. I don't know. We're going to be all right. No problem. Bob, oh, yeah, the problem. Oh, 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 the brain doctor is taking oh, a lot of time. I got it. All set. Yeah. But the cut appears oh, no worse than it did Put earlier. Put your head back. Go back. Go all the way back. You're tested. And you're, you're laying back. You're taking it easy. You can't take it easy with this guy. You've got to keep the pressure on this guy. you got to move your hands. All you got to do is throw the combination. you got to put two, three, four punches together. You understand me? You understand know what I'm saying? He won't be there if he's going to be there. He's not going to be there. One more round. Let's go. And you will not go. You're not nothing. One more round, he's not there, baby. Come on, second down. And so we start the fifth round, and Tyson is right on his man. Kevin Rudy exhorting him to throw two or three punch combinations. Swelling under the right eye of Tyrell Biggs as well right now. disappointing for Biggs Corner because he has more talent than what he's showing tonight. 
the left hooks has been consistent and very, very accurate with Mike Tyson. But they're there for a good reason, right? Well, Tyson, because oh, look what you have in front of you. Uh, the fact that Biggs is not doing what he, what he worked on. He just forgot about his game plan. Totally abandoned it. Mike Tyson, he's doing what he does best. Worked the body, worked the head. Simple fact is that I don't think you have to be a boxing expert. Tyrell Biggs is dropping his right hand and he's just leaving himself completely open for the left hook. Well, I think this is a good education for the public because the fans at home, because they're seeing what should not be done against a fighter like a Mike Tyson or any boxer or puncher, rather, in particular. You have to be consistent, keep those hands out. Again, that cut over the left eye has opened up. There is a swelling under the right eye that has a lot of blood right below the surface of the skin also. What Biggs has to do, he has to work something out, which is actually the left jab to break that rhythm and stop the momentum of Mike Tyson. He continues, Barry, to allow Mike to dominate. Again, bleeding from the mouth as he has been since the first round. Not a pretty sight. He subjects him, himself, Biggs does, to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe and being a, actually a punching bag. This way, this will probably see uh, more knots and bruises because Tyson is hard. Good body shot by Mike Tyson. And remember, the doctor was in Tyrell Biggs' corner and looked long and hard at that cut in the last round. And you're going to see him again. Tyson hit on a break that time. I say break, you don't break. Understand? You understand, Mike? Two. Let's go. That cut looks even uglier. Bloody Friday, Friday. Not doing enough. Not doing enough. You know that's what's going on with the guys there. Now look, don't get in to this shit. No, See, I can't I'm punch him. There's nothing out there. Now listen. No. Oh, they'll be kicking me up. All right, but right, look. Right, right. Hey. No, you gotta break clean, man. Like, take listen, come on, come here. And keep your hands up with these guys. Don't trust the guy. Now look. Keep your head. Uh, Are you all right? Uh, uh, Harold Letterman, uh, 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 unofficial official. How do you score the fight? Well, Larry, I've got a 49-46 Mike Tyson, four to, round, four to one in rounds. Uh, based on a four points that we score, it's very simple to score. Mike Tyson's just been the effective aggressor, the harder hitter, and uh, he's dominating at this point. This guy's tired. Okay. You understand? Lou Dube is doing everything possible to inspire Biggs. He, he said as he left the ring, you heard him, you heard him. <laughs> that is wishful thinking. And Biggs holding on a great deal now. There was a right hand by Tyson. And another. Biggs, you have to say, he, he, he takes a good shot, but it, uh, this was not necessary. I mean, I, I figured that Biggs would use that height, that reach, and his ring generalship to uh, make this fight a little easier for him. Instead, he abandoned his uh, tactics, his strategy he worked on in the gym, and select to fight Mike Tyson's fight. I, I love those body shots, Doug. It weakens the fighter, it takes away his legs, so you won't see that much movement from Tyrell Biggs. And what Mike wants him to be is a stationary target. Tyson has fought an excellent fight so far. You know, I, no, I no, admit that Biggs has let him fight an excellent fight, but Tyson's been tough. very sharp. Well, I like Tyson because now he's putting his combinations together. He's not loading up anymore. And he's also showing a lot more patience. He was a guy who would just get in there and go for the quick kill and try to do it, generally speaking, with one punch. You know what's happening here? Actually, Biggs is just wearing down, slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. It's like chopping a tree down. It's the same principle. He's wearing, Mike Tyson's wearing his man down. 
And the way you can tell this bird is the fact that you notice this very, very uh, seldom does uh, Biggs retaliate. Very seldom you see Biggs come back with a combination of his own. Wait, no punch you, let him out. Let him out, Joe. Let him go, come on, Joe. Well, I'm going to take the point away now. These two, of course, go back a long way, all the way back to amateur days. Now they're left-handed, and there's a great shot. Biggs is in trouble. Yeah. The way it looks now, uh, Biggs is like a defeated warrior now. He's been pounded on for five rounds. And he's slowly but surely wearing down. His legs will look steady. Is getting stronger, and Biggs is just holding on. Well, that made the betters happy, if nothing else, because Tyrell Biggs has lasted six rounds. They say that Tyson is predictable, but uh, so is a hurricane. What can you do about it? Well, here's something that hasn't been predictable the last couple of weeks because the football strike, but inside the NFL will now be back because the strike has been, and I'll put it in quotes, settled. Your hosts, Len Dawson and Nick Bonacani. It's right here on HBO Thursdays at 11. More sevens, I should be more sevens, more sevens. That six is beautiful. Let's see, six, five, one, six, five, two, one. Get to the side. Play with this guy now. You understand me? Yes. This guy's got nothing. Give him the fame. Like you did before. Give him the fame. Give him the fame. Step to the side. Fight. You, you're taking the best he's got. So what the hell's wrong with you? Call him back. Come on, this guy's gone. Now listen Come to on, that. Come on, you better fight him. Fire from your chin, though. The guy can't fight inside. So if you, if you got no legs, fight him inside. If you got no legs. Those numbers you heard were a fight combination. Customato, the mentor of Mike Tyson, he used to put numbers on the different fight combinations, and uh, Kevin Rooney is Tyson's disciple. I heard something interesting in Big's corner. Is it, you told him, this trainer said, if your legs are gone, stand and fight them. Stand toe-to-toe -to -toe and fight them. So apparently the legs of Tyra Biggs are shot. Because you don't see movement. He hasn't had movement actually for the past two or three rounds. And just to further that point, in the last round, our punch that figures, Tyrell Biggs threw 15 punches, Ray. Again, like I said earlier, Barry, he's, he's just wearing down. You gotta, you can appreciate, especially from ringside, those body attacks by Mike Tyson. I mean, he gets his whole body, a lot of leverage. I am surprised that I have not seen that many uppercuts from Tyrell Biggs. Now that was his game plan. I mean, that was something he said he had to do. I break, no question. Step back, come on, let him go, Tyrell. Let him go. Step back. Good. A cut, incidentally, at least for the last couple of rounds, has not shown any more blood. It appears to me that Biggs was trying to time Tyson with the counter right. I noticed when Tyson comes in, Biggs tries to stand his ground and throw a right hand. So now that tells me that Biggs is pretty much falling through the same trap as Mike Tyson, trying for one punch. Never. There's a right hand that just caught Biggs off balance. Biggs is covering up a lot of times unnecessarily and just trying to protect himself. Biggs, of course, has never been known as a guy who could put a man away with one punch. He dropped Snipes with a good right hand. But he didn't give away. The elbow there. Uh, Tyson. Uh, Kevin Rooney was telling Tyson, give him a couple head fights. 